right, what's up guys? Today we're going to be breaking down a very popular video that's been going around YouTube for a couple years now. This is Andrew Hawkins. Uh, he played wide receiver for the Cleveland Browns and the Cincinnati Bengals. He now works for ESPN and he's an incredible route runner really. He did a lot of really good things um, with his releases and, and setting guys up at the top of the routes and things like that. And uh, you know, I think he kind of just got buried in the depth chart, which happens to a lot of really talented guys in the NFL. So you don't, you may not really know who he is, but um, this tape has a lot of good things in it. And I kind of wanted to show it to you guys and, and go over some of it. So I'm going to start off here. This is my first time watching it, so I'm going to, you know, uh, as we go, I'm going to uh, watch it and, and go over it, but. Uh, we're going to see him here uh, get a nice release off the ball. Uh, what we call it, a, it's a quick one-two, but the, the DB doesn't bite on it. So you see this one-two, and so he takes another step inside. So it's like a quick three, one-two, three, inside releases. All right, and this is, uh, I've seen um, 84 footwork calls this a circus release. This is really what I call a dive release, just stemming inside and getting the defender to turn his hips. Once he puts this hand out to try and press you or jam you or slow you down, then you can cross him over. He can't open his hips. They're locked. You see him even, he even swats that arm through, and he's able to get an outside release, and this DB is in panic mode now. Uh, he runs into him, and then, you know, uh, Hawkins uses that contact uh, to break to the corner and uses his speed to a ton of separation. Uh, it's easy touchdown there. Here he is in the slot, and he's just going to run a slant here. Uh, this is a good hesitation drill. Um, you know, I like to tell my guys that if you start here and sprint for five yards, and another guy starts here and hesitates and skips, you know. This guy that's sprinting is probably going to win by maybe a yard. You have time on these short routes, and the good slot receivers know that. So you're going to see him uh, probably bring, yep, so back foot to front foot. Instead of stepping uh, all the way forwards, you take your back foot to your front foot, and you're skipping up to him, right? And then you're going to see him do a three-step set. So we're going to go soft inside off the right, hard outside with the left, and then burst inside. One, two, three. And you're going to see it's this arm. Once this arm comes up to try and jam, this guy is stuck in cement. There's nothing he can do. you got to get him to jam with the wrong arm. And that's an easy touchdown on the slant there. All right, so this one is really just getting up on the defender's toes, um, using speed and a little jab inside to get him off balance. Watch it full speed. A lot of people say run your, you know, your smash or your smash corners at 10 yards or 12 yards or whatever. I like to give guys some freedom and and let them push to a good depth to get the DB out of his back pedal and running um, 12 yards, 14 yards. You know that ball is going to be thrown to a spot. So as long as you're at that spot on time, you don't take too long. I don't think there's a problem with it. But we're going to see him push up to about 12, and you're just going to see that little, huh. Not really a three-step set, kind of a little bit of skate footwork, but he's really just dipping his head and shoulders inside. And you're gonna see what it does to this DB. It stops his stops his feet, gets him to want to go inside, and then he's just flying through the cut over the top. Nice high angle and a great throw. And he's gonna get one, two, good catch. All right, so this is a good job of understanding what the DB is, is trying to do and, and what his technique is. So uh, if you release inside of this guy in press coverage, he does not think that you're running a five-yard out. Like, no way he thinks you're going to run out there. So he, that gets, like, eliminated from his brain, right? He, he crosses that off the list. So, again, we're going to see, you know, that good hesitation, uh, back foot to front foot, a little skip off the ball, and then a burst inside. And he's actually going to do a three-step set here. Right foot soft, left foot hard and away. And again, this arm right here, if this arm gets involved, this DB can't open his hips and he's screwed. And uh, he gives him a little swat on that arm and it really puts him off balance and he's on the ground. It's a really clean route there. All right, here's a little... Um, uh, snag route uh, 
So this would, in the concept, would be, you know, the quarterback is probably reading something over here in the red zone, maybe a back line throw, and they're going to run this little hitch uh, one yard in the one yard deep in the end zone. So if you catch it, you score. And when the quarterback puts his eyes on you, if you're covered, you can burst. You don't want to burst early because then uh, you're going to get open and then get covered again before the quarterback can get you the ball. So he's simulating that, getting to his depth. Doesn't quite get there. I think it's just because it's one on ones. It's not not as important, but uh, gets to his spot. And then you're going to see him head and eyes back for a second, hesitate, burst. Just burst away from coverage. Really good route there. All right, so this is a great job of stacking his guys. So we're just going to get oh, this press coverage. Quick two. Not even a quick two, really. Yeah, he does. Steps with the right foot, left foot. Inside release. See how he stacks them? He can go anywhere now. He can go out. He can keep going vertical. He can go this way. He can go post, corner. Whatever he wants, he's got all of that. And um, you're going to see him just give a little bit of a, and not much, not really anything at the top of the route. I mean, he's just got this guy so off balance and in panic mode from getting stacked. He just falls down, and on the big dig route, he gets open in the middle of the field. So here's another one of those slants. Um, some teams call these short posts when they uh, when they work them a little bit like this. So he's coming off the ball, and it's just, again, the three-step set. Right, left, right. Boom, boom, boom. And I'm telling you guys, every time you see a DB just get completely crossed up, they jam with the wrong arm, you know. They get the, the, the receiver gets him thinking that he's going this way. He's putting that arm out to shield him this way and run him that way. And that wrong arm gets him beat every time. So this is pretty filthy. You see how... This defender has inside leverage on him. And a lot of guys, a lot of young receivers would just run in, gain leverage, and run on the slant. But that's uh, that's easy to cover. This guy is just going to get his hands on you. He's going to run you down the line. He's going to stay on your back, and he's going to play through you to the ball. And it's going to be a really tough catch, You know, probably an incompletion. He may not intercept the ball, but um, you're not making that catch. So what Hawkins is going to do here is he's going to come off the ball He's going to give him a three-step set. He's really good at this. Right, left, right. And you just see, boom, that hand gets out in front of the body. when He, want, he wants to reach with that hand, and he gets completely spun around, and he has no chance. So here we are on a corner route, and he's going to inside release this. It's good to switch these up, and honestly, um, you know, into the boundary like this, when you don't have as much space, uh, inside releasing these is, uh, you know, not the worst idea, because he's going to be thinking post or, or dig or something, and, and he's going to turn his hips inside, and you can get over the top on him. Um, so Hawkins is going to come off the ball. A little bit of a hesitation, inside release, see him turn his pads, you see his numbers. The sideline camera can see his numbers, so this DB is pushing him in the back, just propelling him even further. The DB's off balance because he misses with that push because of where his back is, and then he's just over the top with speed. Great catch. So here we got a little out and up. You can see him hesitate off the ball and burst. He uh, uses good change of speed. So he's slow, accelerates. This guy gets in panic mode. Oh, crap, he's running fast. Oh, now I'm beat on the out route. He's going to be coming this way. He's coming this way. you got two ships passing in the night there. Right up this red line with speed. Over the shoulder, doesn't break stride. Runs out of bounds, but great route. So this is a good one. He's a smaller guy, but this is him fighting for leverage, holding his line, not getting pushed in here. If you run a, a, these basic routes, these dig routes, going across the middle, and you let this DB push you on your stem all the way over here, you are you are out of position. You know This is not where the ball is supposed to be caught. The ball is supposed to be caught in here. Um, so he does a good job of fighting here. It's inside release. 
fighting with his hands, trying to get the hands off of him, fighting pressure with pressure, leaning back into the DB so he doesn't get washed down, and then just using a little bit of a push off here. There's some contact by both guys. That's not going to get called at the top of the route and bursting across at a nice flat angle. See the point where he breaks? He does, he's, what, the 31-yard uh, line? He catches the ball right on the 31-yard line. He's not drifting upfield, giving the DB an opportunity to undercut. He's staying right on that line. Good catch. He gets upfield. This is a nice uh, whip route, pivot route, um, slant return. You know, a lot of people call it you know, different things, but it's uh, you know pushing up like you're in a slant, breaking in, whipping it back out. Um, and this is 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 pretty filthy. You're gonna see the, the tempo that he comes off the ball on this slant. This looks like he's running a slant. Boom! He's open on the slant. This guy's in panic mode. Oh, I gotta meet him at this spot to break it up and make the tackle. Boom, whips it back out. This guy sees it, can't really change direction fast enough. And again, these angles that he's coming out of these routes at, he's not drifting this way. He's coming negative is what I call it. He's coming back downhill, coming negative, attacking the ball, getting between the ball and the defender. Mm. This is great with the head and shoulders at the top of the route. You're going to see him attack him. See when he breaks down, watch his head. See this little shimmy, this wiggle that he gives him? Just a little bit of head. And you see this DB thinks he's coming over here somewhere. He's trying to wrap around and get on top of that. He's just going to break this off. Mm, can't make the catch. That was a tough throw. But I think there's a back view of this one, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. So watch this. Watch the head. Mm, a little bit of an arm there. I like to keep arms tight, but that's that's pretty tight. And sometimes getting your arms away from the framework of the body like that can help sell some stuff. Um, but you're just going to see him give just a little bit of this this way. And just watch what it does to the DB. Just going the wrong direction. And man, that's a, that's a tough catch. It gets past his eyes. Um, those ones are hard to bring in over the head there. This is just really good route running fundamentals. So just a little stutter, outside release, push them vertical, and just the sinking of the hips, the shoulders over the toes, coming back to the ball is all good here. Um, you know, gets this guy sinking into vertical, looking back for the ball. This guy's panicking, running this way. And then just, you know, good feet coming out of it, coming back to the ball. This is this is the kind of stuff that makes you dynamic after the catch. Where do people go when they catch a curl route? They want to go outside, right? Outside shoulder, catch it, turn outside. He's going to give a little bit of a head fake that way. Get the DV going this way. You know, if this is a game and there's not a safety close by, I mean, that's probably a touchdown. On a, on, you know, on a 10, 15-yard curl route. Mm. So I don't... This is probably... A uh, certain route that they have called. I don't know if he did this much just on his own, but uh, watch him sell this. This looks just like those slants that he's been running, right, with a three-step set. And now he's breaking it down. Just a little bit ahead to the outside there. A little bit of a jab. Gets this guy to open up like he's going to break this way. And then burst into the middle of the field. It's a good catch. This is a good job of a seam route. So I've been talking a lot about seam routes on the page lately. Uh, NFL landmark for seam routes is going to be top of the numbers here. Um, so that's where he wants to get. And you want to preferably outside release this guy. Well, if he widens with you, you can give him a little bit of a set at the top of the route and get him to widen even more and slip inside of him, which is what he does here. So watch this. He's fighting for his width. See how this DB is getting wide? He's still, you know, one could say he's still outside leverage on him. So he's just going to give him a little bit of a head and shoulder jab hesitation swims the arm off of him and then boom he's right down his seam landmark there's a safety in the middle of the field he's not making that play he's not going to be able to get over there in time unless he has a really good jump on it the quarterback's not doing a good job with his eyes so this is a simple route uh, this is just like a, an option route 
So this would be two by two. There'd be another receiver out here. You're attacking number two um, and just breaking breaking away from his leverage. So he's just going to come up here eight to ten yards and just break away from him. Um, just good just good route running fundamentals, good speed off the ball. You see the shoulders over the toes, boom. Shoulders over the toes. Coming back downhill, friendly angle to the quarterback. Nice catch. Nothing fancy, but just a good, clean route. Hmm. So this is a little bit of a, a set at the top of this corner route. He's coming inside. He's got inside leverage, so this guy's thinking, oh, he's going to stay inside of me. He's probably breaking to the middle of the field, right? And he's got to make sure he can get across on the, outs on the outside of him to get to his corner route. Um, so you're just going to see him just a little hesitation and jab inside. Gets this DB to turn his hips the wrong way. And then takes a nice high angle over the top. It's a really good throw. And really good finish there for the touchdown. So we'll see it from the back view here. See how he widens him a little bit? A lot of people when they're running uh, post will attack leverage to try and get the DB to widen. So this looks like a short post. And then right here you got, you know, just a little one, two, three. Right foot out, left foot in, hard with the left foot in, and then outside. That's a really good catch. And finish for the touchdown. That's how you practice right there. You finish every rep, man. Make it make it feel like a game. Here it is again. Running the seam route. You know, if he just if he just keeps on this line and just runs a straight line right up to his landmark, this DB is going to widen him. He's going to push him to the sideline. He's going to be in his hip pocket. So he's just going to give him a little three-step set. Left, right, left. The right step is going back in at him. And then he's accelerating out of it. See what does this guy? See him lose this ground? Now look at all that space. Take it over the top on a seam route. Great catch. And this guy could play. I'm really surprised he didn't end up doing more in the league than he did. But, um, you know, if you watch this whole video, I mean, he does some really good stuff. Watch this. Come back and attack him a little bit. Boom. Left, right, left. Three steps set. Left, right, left. Boom. And then right on his landmark, the ball's right where it should be. It's textbook stuff right there. Hmm. And look at the pace and the urgency off the ball, how fast he's running at this guy. You see him inside release and then straighten back up. When he straightens back up, this DB has to straighten back up. And he's now coming away from where the route is going, away from where the break is. Boom. Again, another good angle coming out of the route. So like I was talking about in the earlier one, these, these inside posts from the slot receivers, they like to attack leverage. So he's going to widen this guy, stick him across his face fast, running fast. Um, nothing fancy here, just good route running mechanics, um, you know, good body, body uh, leverage, sinking his hips, uh, running full speed, looking the guy in the eyes, attacking his leverage. You see him here, just stick. Just being able to have that, that stop and go power, boom, stick. Changing direction quickly. You know, he's attacking this guy's leverage. Look how he breaks right when this guy decides to open his hips up this way. I mean, perfect timing on the break. And the crazy little one handed catch there. It's pretty filthy. This is just a, a simple four step out one, two, three, four, five. So, what he does here he actually flips his feet. So, he's got his outside foot up. Um, and that's allowing him so he can take five steps, and that kind of gets the DB off. They're used to counting your steps, too. So one, two, three, four. You know, that looks like it's like a slant or something. Now he's coming back out of it. Look at the angle. Look where he makes his break. Right at the goal line, look where he catches the ball. Right at the goal line. Come out of it flat. Don't give the DB a chance to undercut. This is just a nice little fade uh, over the outside shoulder. He's inside leverage. Don't just 
Don't just run out here. Let them shadow you. Attack them. Set them. Come out. You know, make them stay inside or maybe even move inside even further. He stays inside. Doesn't get hands on him. That's really easy right there. Here we are again with just these simple stop routes they run. Nine yard stop route. Ball should be on the outside shoulder. See him throw the shoulders over the toes. Off coverage. Come back to the ball a little bit. Outside shoulder. And then look. Ball's thrown the outside shoulder. All the receivers are taught. Turn where the ball's thrown. Right? Let the QB lead you. So he's coming here. Cutting off making a tackle. He's going to jab. Come back in the middle of the field. And I mean, that's a huge play. That turns a 10-yard completion into a touchdown. Just with that little bit of uh, run-after-catch fundamentals there. Another one of these option routes. Really threaten them vertical. See how he's just starting to open up and run. And uh, look at his body position. That is shoulders over the toes right there. Snapping it down, coming out of it. Good catch. Good finish. Hmm. I didn't even see that. See how he's stemming out at him? It stems up. When he stems up, he's, you know, he's thinking, oh crap, he's coming. He's going deep on me. Boom, stems up, snaps it back down. I'll tell you what, this right here, as a defensive back, is not a good position to be in. You're not going to be covering too many people like that. Mm, stick nod with off coverage. So this is gonna you're gonna have to release back inside of him here because he's so far off. He's gonna jump the stick this way, and you're coming back to the middle of the field. He does a great job of selling this with his eyes. Eyes back to the quarterback. And then back to the middle of the field. Good catch. He's just tearing these guys up. These are all from, from training camp and OTAs, it looks like. And, all right, so here we go. Here's a, uh, a seam route. And this guy does not widen to take you off your landmark. So you're just running down your landmark. Bottom of the numbers. Just running. That's all he's doing here is just running. Runs right by the guy. Great throw. Let's just touch on That's a great finish right there. That's a way to finish. You see him. Now right here, if this guy's over here, attack him, stutter, give him something, slip him, right? If he's right on your hip and he's widening you, set him inside, stay outside. But if he's just going to stay off like that and inside, just run down your landmark. That's great stuff right there. All right, and this is the last one. This looks like that look this looks like that slant again. He's gonna release inside uh, outside for the out route. Good with his hands. You see him setting up the slant. One, two, three, jab like it's a slant. What am I telling you? Wrong hand. If you jam with the wrong hand, you're gonna get beat. And it's tough. The receiver's job is to make you jam with the wrong hand. He's trying to trick you into, into using the wrong one so he can slap that thing off, be physical with the hands. Good friendly angle, catch it right in the end zone for a touchdown. See it right here. Set him inside. Good club and punch, club and swim. I don't like to say swim though because people when they swim want to bring their arm way out up here. Punch is a nice tight punch through, getting the hands off. Good angle, good catch with one hand.